Well, what a lovely day, lovely evening. Happy homebrew Wednesday on a Friday. Fuck it Friday, I think it is, isn't it? Who is it that started that? Josh, Josh Saucer, Josh Saucer. Nice one. So, first things first. Let's have a drink. Franciscana. Bloody lovely. Yeah. Give me a second. I've not had a drink yet. My mouth feels like a budgie cage. Nothing better. Well, only one thing, and this is a damn sight less effort. So, yeah, let me put my feet up. Uh, brew shed, nothing happened. Last weekend didn't happen. I ended up getting dragged everywhere. Tomorrow, I'm going to a, uh, what's it called? BBC Radio, one big weekend. 25,000 people in a field, a lot of bands, should be good, but too many people for my liking, but I'll battle through, no doubt there'll be a beer tent selling uh, some piss beer, but there you go, but Sunday, and it's bank holiday Monday, I'm going to be in there, and I promise, come hella high water, it's going to be done, so, hopefully, by the following weekend, I'll be able to get my finger out of my ass and actually make some beer. As I promised in my last video, I'm uh, going to sample the gash that I made last year. Not tried it in months. It's up in the uh, fridge, chilling off. It's another 20 minutes, half an hour. I'm going to give it a whirl. And we'll find out how nasty it is. So, I'll see you in a little bit. I'm going to have a drink. Chill out. I'll speak to you in a minute. Got that wrong. Dan. From Fuck It, Let's Brew It. Not Josh. Do apologise. Sorry, Josh. Sorry, Dan. I'm a fucking idiot. Anyway. Beer's still in the fridge. It's not cold enough yet, so... I'll keep drinking this. Mind you, I'll be straight back on this anyway. I've bought um, a little camera tripod for my iPhone. And it came with one of these. No destructions. No manual. Jack shit. Nothing. So I've got a clue. I'm using iOS. It says it works on iOS. Battery in it. Bluetooth doesn't see it. Don't know if there's an app for it. Anybody know how to use it? Load of shit. Also, one sec. I've got myself one of these. It's um, obviously, it's not a GoPro. It was forty-four quid, forty-four pounds. Four K, sixteen megapixels. I think it's only four K. Uh, yeah, four K, twenty-five frames. Hmm. 60 frames in 1080. Don't know, give it a try. It's obviously not going to be as good as a GoPro, but I wanted something that I can do um, uh, film my brews with. I maybe have different angles. 
also I can get one of those spazzy selfie stick things and then when I go walk about so on the beach with a dog I can take you all out I can take you all for a walk and show you what I get up to when I'm not drinking beer I'm mainly drinking beer so yeah I'm gonna give this uh, camera a try and uh, post some videos I don't know, well, we'll see. Might be a lot of old crap, but we'll find out, won't we? So, I will come back and I will post a video on, the, well, an extension to this video on drinking that rubbish that's upstairs, so thanks. Right then. It's chilled. Let's give it a try. I don't know which way around it is. I'll work it out when I open them. Should have marked the bottles, but that would have been way too intelligent for me. One of them, which pretty sure is this one, pretty sure is this one, was just um, a brew firm kit, brew firm wheat beer kit. And the only thing extra that I did with it is chucked in some coriander and um, orange peel. Didn't have the proper Karaku, if I'm pronouncing that right. Karaku orange, so I just put in any old orange. Let's give it a crack. Sourish smell. Hmm. Not a lot of head. smell of anything in particular. Nothing at all, actually. Actually, I think that's not the brew firm. I think that's a extract that they did the week after, which was a Cooper's wheat extract. Um, I think there was some spray malt went in there as well. Um, there was some grains, just steep some grains. Sorry, I can't remember what it was. I've just had to try to have a look on the website I got it from, but it's not there anymore. It's too long ago, I can't remember. I can't remember what I did yesterday, so um, as I thought, Shit. There's no way I'll be drinking that. Wishy washy crap. And it's got that. I don't know what you call it. Anytime I've ever had a kit from a friend or anyone, it's always got that. I don't know. Metallic y, tinny twangy, uh, wishy-washy shit, and I shan't be drinking it, so, I'm back in a minute, I'm just going to go and water the tomatoes, strawberries, I ain't got any tomatoes, but well, I have, slugs have eaten them, right, round two, No smell that you should be getting from a, a wheat beer.
Looks a bit more of the part. Last time I did try this, I think I've got it a bit too cold now. Bit of chill hairs, but last time I did try this, it was too clear, way too clear for a, a wheat beer. <laughs> um, nothing. Again, nothing. Oh, fucking hell. crap it's absolute junk similar to that so I don't know what's gone wrong well I do one I'm an idiot I don't know what I was doing I didn't know what I was doing well still don't um, two it was way too hot when I um, uh, fermented this I had no way of controlling the temperature it was in the back of my office my old office it was so hot it was ridiculously hot and um, it's just gone pear shaped. It really has gone pear shaped. It, it's just absolutely crap. I mean, it's not off. It's not an off beer, but I certainly shan't be drinking it. So um, that's it. That's my home brew uh, contribution today. So uh, apologies, but the shed's almost ready. So I promise I will be trying very hard. To produce something decent and this time next year orders nice one catch you in a bit